everyone, it's Claire from Diamond Painting Nerd and I have a Diamond Art Club unboxing. So I have had um, a couple of Randall Spanglers in my box, um, in, in my box, in my cart um, on the Diamond Art Club website. These aren't the new, these aren't new ones. Um, I am fairly new still to the whole diamond painting world. And when I said that I was only going to get Diamond Art Club kits on a special occasion, like for birthdays or for Christmas, um that was the plan and then i added some to uh, my wish list sorry i added some to my wish list and then they were just sat there um and i had a code for buy one get one 50 percent off which made it a really good deal um but because i'd already bought some i was then kind of holding off and i thought you know i waited weeks and weeks however then i got an email through from diamond art club saying that the um one of them was low stock and i'm like oh for goodness sake i'm gonna miss out so I just bit the bullet and I bought the two that I had or two that I had in my wish list. So, first of all, I purchased this one. I'm going to do them in two separate videos because otherwise videos just get too long. Um, this one is the customised bookshelf. As I said, this is not um, anything new, but I'm going to do an unboxing because then I can give my impression of um, how I feel about it. And I also want to ask some questions about this one too. So, let's get into it. So, this one here is a um, 92 by 41 centimetre and it's a round kit. So, let's open this up get the plastic off and take a look at the canvas and let's see what we're working with so first of all we have a toolkit and then we have the canvas and all the stickers and all the goodness so here's the little sticker ready oh it's alive here's the little sticker ready to go in the logbook so i'll pop that to one side uh, we have a toolkit so this is a this is one of the new ones actually so i'm only going to show you I'm only going to show you the washi and the Is it washi in this one. No, no washi in this one. Okay. Um, magic applicator, comfort grip, heart shaped wax container, craft tray, tray stopper, multi placer, cover minder, and ziplock baggie. So, okay. Someone will have to let me know because I thought all of the new ones actually came with washi as well. Um, I've got one of the roses. I've got one of the purple ones. Um, and I use, I've got a Rascog, which I keep all of my diamond painting stuff in, which I will do a video on actually. Um, but I, because they're magnetised, I just keep them on the side of the Rascog. Um, so my cover minders will start to line up there. So I'm happy to get the yellow rose. Reminds me of Belle from Beauty and the Beast. So that, and then obviously all of the standard stuff. Oh, and also, didn't you get a always get like a matching pen and a squishy this one not you get a white pen and a red squish squishy so i'm not sure what that's about but anyway um the only bits that i will tend to use from that are the um the wax and i give the bags to my friend who's also started diamond painting um and the um i'll keep the multi places i tend to use metal ones now but i'll keep them as spare anyway so let's get into this but yeah i'm surprised there was no washi in that at all so we have this so this one's going to be a long one now which way is it going to open up i'm not sure this way oh <gasps> there he is look at him i just love the dragon paintings from randall spangler oh my goodness me so this one actually it's not that big when i lay it out i know i'm not going to get this all in shot so i do apologize but this is the customized bookshelf i am a bookworm um and so i had to get this one now um i have also got the lit the literate dragon which i've already unboxed um and that is going to be done and that's going up on my wall i've got like a dining room with like a reading nook um so i am going to be putting that on the wall i'm not too sure where this one's going to go um, my husband's already warned me he's like i'm not having a load of diamond paintings hanging around the house um so yeah he's trying to kind of you know rein me back in um to get me a little more um reined in in terms of my expectations of where all these paintings are going to go but i'll find a place for this um because i absolutely love it i've seen this completed um and that's what sold it to me so um you get the instruction booklet um which is the older style one i believe um and then also the sticker sheet with the um the labels for the pots there's 52 colors in this and there are two ab's there is 134 and 136 
and the i'm not going to check the stick because the stick on the diamond art club ones and i've not had an issue with um, we have the legend on the left and the right which is handy now i'm not going to get all of these drills out because they are a nightmare to get back in the bag but what i do want to do is i do want to search for leave the russells um, i do want to search for and find the um, ab's so first of all 310 check now 310 is not the first on the list oh look at that look at that small bag look that's all of the 310 so there's not going to be much 310 in this which makes my heart a little happy i can see actually um let me move this over so you've just got the out outline i think of this book over here and then some from this book over here so there's not much black in this so let's find these ABs. So we are looking for a green and a blue by the looks of things. So where are you, ABs? I just want to see how much um, how much of it is actually going to appear on the painting. So where are you? Green and blue ABs. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So <clears throat> here is the green, one, three, four, you can see. And that's a fairly big pack of those. And I'll have a look at whereabouts those go on the... Um, painting and then we're also looking for the blue as well so not that one that's 995 it's not that one not that one although i can't see whether that's got a coating on the top nope hmm see i'm gonna open this up there's not too many in here let's find that other ab I would imagine it will probably be towards the end of the train because um, 8096466853. Oh, there's quite a lot of 3371 in this. There's two big bags. So it's not on that train. Where are we? 210. Where are you? 3846. Here we go. 136. Oh, it's like a purple. Look at that one. That is like a purple AB, that one. It's a really lovely colour. So we have um, this one here. Let's get a bit of a closer look. That green, that's definitely going to be in the dragon, I would have thought, or dragons. And then the purple there too. So let's take a look at whereabouts these are going to feature. Let's move the drills out of the way. So we have... Um, usually they're number one and two or one, two, three, four, however many you've got. So we're looking for one and two on this. Yes. Yeah, so we've got a lot of one in this dragon over here. Well, I say lots of one. It's just going to be highlights, um, the top into the body, some into the tail as well. So that's going to be fun. Then we've also got, um, ones in this book here too. And then we also have, we've got some ones in this book. So actually they are going to be spread throughout, which is quite nice. And we've also got some ones in this dragon also. And then the number twos are here. So it is mainly, I think, around this book. So there's a lot of twos all the way around this book. And let's see if I can find any other twos. There's a couple in the dragon's eye. Um, in this one but not not in this one okay and I can't see any others so I think that's it I think it's just the surround of this book and in the the dragon on the left's eye I cannot see any other twos at quick glance but that's okay I trust the process with Diamond Art Club. I trust the rendering with these ABs. Um, and so, yeah, really excited. Now, <clears throat> the question I have with this is, obviously it's called Customised Bookshelf. And I have seen that people have added their own book titles on the spine. Now, if you've done this or if you know how to do this, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, I have no idea how to chart my own... Um, 
words to be able to add them on to these books how it all works so please feel free to let me know in the comment section down below if you know how to do that or if there's any resources that I can go and take a look at um, for me to be able to do it and um, <clears throat> I might be able to share the process on my ch um, on my channel as well <clears throat> if anybody else has this um, and they haven't customised the books um, or maybe whether I just go plain and not add any customization on but I don't know I'm kind of getting to the stage where I want to change things up a little bit so yeah any hints any tips um, to help me do that would be really appreciated so i am super excited about this one a rose cover minder i know that there are people out there collecting these let me know what colors have you got so far in the roses like i said i've got i've got a purple now i've got a yellow so we'll have to see what else i get in <clears throat> in the other kit if i get a newer one um and yeah i'm gonna pop this one away back in the box this one's not going to be ready to be kitted up just yet i've got a few others on the go i need to clear the decks with my uh, my other paintings first before i can make a start on this one it's around so it should come together fairly quickly so i don't think this won't take me that long at all um and it may well feature in a future whip and chat as well so thanks very much for joining me for today's um diamond art club unboxing and i will see you all again in the next video bye